after creating your business manager account, the next step that you want to do is that you want to create your ad account. So I'm going to use one of my business accounts to demonstrate how to do it. And as a new beginner or as a new user, you're going to see absolutely nothing here at the moment, especially the ad account. It's going to, not going to show anything at all. So let's get started. Okay, we'll click on business settings on the left. And then we're going to hover down to accounts and add accounts. So again, if your account is brand new, you're going to see totally nothing here at all. And what you want to do is you want to click on the add button here and select create a new ad account. So a lot of people might intuitively select the first one add an ad account. That's not what we're going for. We're going for the third one, create a new ad account. So at this point, you can give it any name you like. You can name it after your product, after your company, or after your brand. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm just going to call it uh, product name, okay? And personally, I would also like to add the currency that I'm going to advertise this account in. So I'm just going to put US dollars here, okay? Or USD in short. Time zone, it auto detects to your current time zone. So assuming that you are living in the United States, you're going to put in your time zone. So I'm just going to go with Eastern Time, okay? GMT minus 5, all right? I think that should be Eastern Time around here. Okay, there we go, all right? And currency, you can put in USD or US dollars. Now, there's no right or wrong here. You can put it in whichever currency that you're comfortable with. Um, it could be Sing dollars, it could be pounds, Australian dollars. It's totally up to you. Uh, there's no advantage whatsoever. So once we're done, we're going to click on Next. And you're going to be asked a rather familiar question. This ad account will be used for your own business or is it going to be used for other people? Uh, in a sense that if you're planning to run an agency and advertise on the behalf of uh, your clients, you will select the second choice. All right. But uh, I would say that it's just better off that you just select my business just to keep things simple. There's no right or wrong. And once we're done, we just click create and that's it. We already have your first ad account.